It's not like I can set them off with my team members. You are my meat shields. Go disarm them. See, look! The blasting caps, they do nothing! I need to run through them! Well, I'm glad I saved. Sam, have you heard of buy me? Is that the... Um, I remember seeing an ad, not an ad, but um, like on Steam. I guess it would be considered an ad. Oh, when you load up Steam, it's like, now available, Biomutant. I don't really know much of anything about that game. You look like a raccoon, though. Or some kind of furry animal with a gun, I think. But tell me more about it, Mel. Weren't you talking about that game before? I think so. Did you get it? Is it any good? How do I get through? <laughs> ah. Uh, Mo, you play as a post-apocalyptic marsupial that know- Oh, I know kung fu. Whoa. So I want to pick it up, but apparently reviews are mixed. Probably get it on sale. That's that's always a, a good bet. If you're not exactly sure if you're gonna like it, my uh, my go-to would be like, wait till it's on sale, or rent it if possible. Or you could see if, like, anyone's playing it right now on Twitch, just to see if, like, hey, let me get just a quick peek at it to see if anybody is playing it and what they think. Alright, I'm gonna disarm. So I don't have to worry about, like, exploding on the way out. Aha! You mean nothing to me now. Alright, I'm gonna go in. Okay. Wait, right, hold on. Thought I saw something. Give me one second. Let me save while I'm in here too. Just in case. Okay. Alright, no bodies in here. No storage units for me to open up. Uh, mo demos are de aww. Oh, I see you up there. Oh, threw a grenade at me. No! Only I may throw their grenades. Like that. Oh, I need to hide. I am the one who grenades. Back here. They may be upstairs. Oh, that dude's not- are you, yeah, you're dead. I was gonna be like, are you dead yet? Oh, hold on. Give me one second. Uh, Mo, this is why pi I mean, different methods of obtaining digital purchases. Digital pro- yeah. Exactly, Mo. Don't worry, I'm not gonna snitch. I only snitch in games. Whoa, I need to run. I need to take cover. I think the rest of the enemies are upstairs. 
So I'm like, I'm seeing the dots, and I'm like, okay, they're not next to me. They must be on the second floor. Nice, I leveled up just for opening up a storage locker. <laughs> yeah, they're upstairs. Oh wait, hold on. I want to open this before I forget about it. Oh no. I've hit my item limit. Oh no. Or I'm, I'm soon to be reaching my item limit. This is bad. And there's no way for me to like expand upon my storage limit. Uh, what is this? Master sabotage. Hacking. Let me just max out my electronics. Why not? Max out your throw. Yeet to the extreme. Right, I think we're good. I currently have 252. <laughs> Oof. You're nearly a 300 item limit. You'll be forced to salvage any new items you find. Sell or salvage some items at your earliest convenience to avoid reaching this limit. Yeah, this is the, uh... This was my fear. I'm a pack rat. I can't give up any of this stuff. The next available moment, I'm gonna head back to the ship. Probably after this mission and uh, make sure everybody's outfitted with the best gear. Let's do names. So, connect a buffer. Uh, let's see, so I have right now, I have seven. Smash damage. Uh, do do do. Exoskeleton. So right now, I have seven. Ooh, hold on. Shields, shield recovery, mobile ability. So it's a little bit different as far as the specs. Give me that exoskeleton. Alright, shield recovery, shields, mobile accuracy. Damage protection. Smash damage. Give me that. Smash. There we go. Right, real quick. Inventory management. Riveting gameplay. All right, so I got Inferno 8. Oh, I like turning my enemies into goo. All right, so right now I have the best. Oh, wait. Hmm. Ooh, toxic damage. Oh, let's go for max accuracy. use shotguns. Get more luck out of a pistol. Shredder. Organics. Uh, let's see. Designed to detonate on impact. High explosive rounds. One major drawback. Massive increase in weapon overheating. So let's, I mean, I would think with this mod, you'd probably get a, a better um, result either on pistols or with your sniper rifle. Incendiary uh, ammo. Eh, yeah, maybe just turn them into toxic goo. I wish it showed you what you currently have. Oh, thank you. Like it showed you what mod you currently have so you can compare. But can't get everything. I do love the feature of being able to put stuff in my junk pile and then selling all that junk. Alright, 
cryo round seven. Do I have any more? No, I don't have any more cryo rounds. Boo. I'm gonna keep cryo round. Uh, kinetic stabilizer. I'm gonna keep kinetic stabilizer, especially for sniper rifle, since I do not have that spec for my abilities. Still don't know. I don't think I need any of this. Explosive. What did I currently have? High explosive. Eight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's do this. Alright. Oh, I can't save after all that. I better not die. After all of that, I better not die. I think we're good now. Oh, wait. Yes, med kit. I'll take it. Heal up. Take that. Override. Good old Simon's. Ah, oh, stop telling me. I know. It's warning me. It's like, hey, you may want to start to sell some stuff. All right, disable torch. Torch disabled. Got to hurry. You really What's up, Kate? Their leaders setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. I mean, I would if I were him. Don't shoot, please. No. Oh, they found her. Her and her brother. Who's shutting down the torch? Just tell him it's me. He's gonna find out soon enough. I won't ask you again. I mean, I would. I'd rat me out. Oh. You should have just told him. Unless you secretly hated your brother, then that's a win-win for you. Get her out of here! Alright, time to go. Alright, I've already investigated that room, because the door is still open. So I have one more torch to shut down. I think I have one more uh, site to visit on the surface. And then we have the main facility. Auto saving. So yeah, there's the second, or the last torch, the third torch. So we're gonna go here, then we'll go to the survey station number two, then from there we'll backtrack and go to the main facility. Wait. It's warning me. I appreciate the warning, but still, it's making me nervous. It's like all this item, like all this armor I can't wear. It's sad. Well, I only have one Krogan. I might as well just junk the rest of this since you can't wear it. Well, let's see. So we have 140 shields. So medical exoskeleton eight. All right, same one. Real quick. Let's do this. Let's keep kinetic stabilizer. Hello. Let's go high explosive for shotguns. 
go. Just major damage. I'll take that. Uh, there we go. Oh, wait. Immediately transfer the upgrades. Let's do... It's a sniper, so it's basically a one-shot. Uh, let's see. Mo apparently... Sa oh, Saints Row 5! Oh, I love Saints Row! I love that game. It's apparently rumored to be announced at E3 2021. Oh, so E3 is apparently happening this year. Nice. I have, I think, all of the Saints Row games? Yeah, one, two, three, and four. I should play that on stream. Would that be a game you guys might be interested to watch? Like, I, it's funny enough, like, when I first started playing the game, I started with two, and then I backtracked and went to one. So I kind of went out of order there. Ooh, look at this armor. That is cool. <gasps> Love the colors. You're welcome, Garrus. Uh, exoskeleton 7. Take that. And that. Crown rounds. There we go. Just real quick for yours. Funny enough, the um, the icon for, for my channel and for my Twitter account, I believe, is my um, my player character in Saints Row Three. I basically like remake the same character, <laughs> same character, same voice, all that jazz. Mo, yes, play Saints Row 3, please. It shall be done. I need to finish one of the games, though, that I'm currently working on. I'm working on, like, four or five games right now. <laughs> uh, wait, Cry Round 7? Do I have any more Cry Rounds? Does Snowblind do the same thing? Do they freeze your enemies? I don't think they do. Do they? All right, this just says capable of snap freezing impacted objects. I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah, I think, I'm trying to remember which Saints Row is which one. Is it Steelport that's in number three? So yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, add Saints Row to the list of games I need to start playing on stream. Uh, Mo, I'm gonna buy Saints Row 3 Remastered. Ooh. Is that coming out? Man, I really kinda wanna play Saints Row. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing Mass Effect and all I can think about is playing Saints Row. I think if I had to decide between playing Saints Row and Grand Theft Auto, I'd go with Saints Row because I appreciate and I enjoy the humor a whole lot more. Like, the character creation, the jokes, some of the missions that they give you, like, I don't think they give it- I don't think they let you play the side mission in Saints Row 4, but the septic tank like the Septic Avengers or whatever it's called, where you just start spraying things down and you get points. I'm like, ah, this is childish. I love it. Uh, let's see. Mo. Oh, it's been out for every- okay. Then I had not seen it. Oh, it's only just released now on Steam. Okay. 
Yeah, I must have missed that then. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with the way it looks now. I don't think I'd buy the remastered version, though. I don't think I have any of the DLCs for Saints Row, though. I can't remember. I have to double check to see what I got. Like, even, like, the weapons that they allow you to use. Like, the dubstep weapon. I'm like, this is goofy. I love it. It's like, they know what they're about. It's like, they know what kind of game they're making. Ooh, I'm getting... Attacked from all sides. All right, well, my shields are still holding. Where is the- ah, there you are. There's another one. Where are you? Are you behind? Yes, you are. Uh, let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba. No, I'm just gonna only get the remastered version because you really like 3. I hope 5 retains its cartoonish style and nature, but it looks as good as any other game. I just want a proper successor to 3, not a disappointment. Yeah, I, I can see where you're coming from. I... I mean, I enjoyed playing 4, but I would take 3 over 4. I I don't know, like, I played 2 first, so I have fond memories of that game. Like, it was it was the one that introduced me to the whole series, and I'm like, I have good memories. Release the Baron! Oh no, more space dogs. Goo! So yeah, I think... Like, if I were to play that on Twitch, should I go in order? Or should I just start with two? Because I think in one, don't you, like, you, you're not given the, the choice to decide whether or not you want to play as a man or a woman? I think the joke is, like, in one of the missions, is it Ayala? Or the one woman's name, like, the one singer, like, you go... You go to her house and she's like, you look different, boss. Did, did, did something happen? And you're like, no. It's like an obvious kind of reference to the fact that your character looks nothing like the first game's character. Isn't Keith David in it? Or am I just, am I just like getting confused? I think they just have Keith David as Keith David in the fourth game, right? Or am I getting really confused? Nothing but goo. Uh, let's see. Mo. Uh, hmm. Do what you want, to be honest. Oh no, Mo. That's giving me way too much power and authority. I think I might have to decide, like... Oh, again, it's telling me I'm having too many items in my inventory. I don't know. Like, I think I've beaten all the games... Think. I can't remember if I've beaten the first game, but I know I definitely beat two, three, and four. I may just start with two. But the only the only downside ooh, I like this look, the color. The only downside is like you may not know a whole lot about the narrative and like you're missing out on some of the background information about the key characters and who they are and what the relationship is, and so I don't know. And I do like me a game with a narrative. Oh, this is ominous. I love it. I'm gonna have to look up online to see how long each game takes roughly, because I don't think I'll do like a completionist run for any of them. 
but I should at least look up to see what the average run time is for each game and plan accordingly. I need to finish Skyrim. It doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Yes, it does. Pow, pow, pow! Prap, prap. Pew, pew! Oh, I should save. It's like, I want to finish up Skyrim in the DLC for Dawnguard, and then I want to play Oblivion, because I haven't played that in forever. And I need to finish The Last of Us. And I need to finish Bioshock. And I need to finish Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> Oh, there's so many games and not enough time. Don't come any closer. We How about one step closer? We can end this peacefully. I doubt that, but what do you want? Tarians knew the meaning of the word. They don't. Look, I'm just doing my job here. I just <laughs> Listen, I'm just a hired goon. But like a quick slave grab, nothing more. Attack him. I don't deal with terrorists. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are going to die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. It is up to you. Then go. Good idea. Uh, what are you offering? It's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell me. Then why are you even talking to me, dude? Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. Oh, Mo. Uh, ba -ba -ba. you know, despite the Saints Row games having literally numbers in their titles, I keep forgetting that there's a game before Saints Row 2. I know, like, Saints Row 2 and 1, to me, are, like, kind of like night and day as far not the tone, but I think it gets, like, goofier and more humorous in the second game than it, than it does in the first one. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed it. Now Balak wants you dead. It's like, dude. What Balak wants, Balak gets. Forget Balak. Don't be stupid. I like the fact that it gives me the option to, like, yell at this man because I have enough points. I could attack him. But, I mean, this guy is like, look, I have a Krogan and a Turian falling behind me. You should check yourself before I, I wreck yourself. I don't know. Or you can take your chances with me. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. <laughs> I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sake. Quicker. Relax. It'll be fine. What's coming to him. And so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Oh man, I really love Garrus's armor. Perfectly. Balak's hold up in the main facility. You'll need this. Oh, sweet. I just got a key card. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this road. I think... I'm trying to remember some of the missions in Saints Row 2. Oh, I got- wait, I yelled at him and yet I got Paragon points. How did that happen? I yelled at this man. I need to find one more body. I have a pass key. Multi-pass. Like, one of the missions you have... I don't want to really give away spoilers. But let's just say I learned what a Texas funeral was from that, I'm like, or a Texas burial, I'm like, that's awesome. It's gruesome, but it's awesome. <laughs>